Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Chronic, and we back today with the NBA Top Shot Pack opening. The market, and I feel like I say this every time I make a video now. The market is in turmoil. The market is not doing good, man. It's down bad right now. The pack yesterday, if y'all weren't here, $150, but it's atrocious. The the cost of these rare cards is low, man. So we're gonna see what I get. Let's see if the pack is profitable. I'm hoping for a Edwards, a Zion, something nice. But at this point in time, I I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's not looking good. But I got hope, man. I got hope the market's gonna turn around. I got hope this pack is gonna go off. And let's see. We're gonna open it right now. Let's go, baby. Come on. Woo! 150 bucks. It's my second most expensive pack I've ever bought. So, six cards. We got one. There's the rare. We're gonna start right above it. Right above it. Bang. Common, Dunk, Joe Harris. Hey, alright. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's see the moment real fast. Okay, okay. And on the, on the TV behind, we got the Lakers and Knicks about to tip off, man. Let's go LA. Let's go Knicks, too. I like the Knicks, but I'm a Lakers fan. All right. So that moment's probably not worth much. Out of 35K. Let's go right here. Come on, LeBron. Hey, Bradley Beal. I'll take it. I think I already have one. Of oh, that's a nice move. Oh, oh. Okay, Bradley. I think he's hurt right now, but that was dirty. I want a LeBron, man. Give me a LeBron, please. LeBron? LeBron? Oh, I saw the purple. Suns. Whatever, buddy healed. Not a bad player. I can already tell you this pack is not doing very good. It's not a very good pack. And it's, oh, okay. Come on, Kiki. Oh, dunking on my boy Drummond. I remember this game. Oh my gosh, bro. I like that moment, even though it's on Drummond. That's dope. That's my best card so far. It's a dual badge. That's dope. That's cool. Ooh, it's not looking good though. I already have this card, Carmelo. Nice little fadeaway jumper. The N1. Oh man. This is not good. All right, come on, Top Shot. Don't let me down, man. Don't let me down. LA Clippers. Rare. 293. Paul George. Eh. I think I might break even with that. I'm not a Clippers fan at all. But good cereal. Very good cereal. 293 out of 18. I might break even. I might break even with this pack. That's that's not a bad cereal at all. I I would say I got decently lucky with this pack. Decently lucky. Let's go see how we did. Let's start with that Okiki card. Four dollars. What? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be bad, bro. Oh, Top shot, three dollars. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm gonna break even. Four dollars. I don't even remember the other cards, Joe Harris. Oh, top shot, you got me. You got me hurting a little bit. Three dollars, so what, we're up to like, twelve dollars. Oh man, I'm not trying to be negative or be sound down, but oh man, 95 for the throwdown, Paul George. All right, 
Let's see what. Okay, we're at like 400. Five. Come on. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. 250. 275. 175. 155. 149. There I am. So, I would say I broke even just off the PG alone. So, we're not down too bad. We're all, we're all good. That's fine. I'm happy. As long as I break even, I'm good. I'm not even selling my moments, but I just want the marketplace to stay up and stay good. Uh, let's see. I want to look at the other... Let's see the Series 1. See, those are out of 275. I don't know if that's a... Oh, those are legendary, though. Wait, no. They're rares. They are Series 1, but... Alright, we're gonna list these... I wanted the Zion, or the Anthony Edwards, the Jaw, the Russ. We're a couple steps down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Top ten. I'll take it. I'll take it. Cat, Rui. How, what's the bottom floor of these, though? How bad could it have been? Dang, $68. Oh, it better not go to 50 61 Yeah, so you could have taken a loss on this pack for real. I haven't really watched that many other pack openings, but I've seen a lot of people get used to it. So we did good. We did good. Okay, man. Um, what else about Top Shot? As you guys can see, the market's not doing good. Let's take a look at some of the cards I want. And then we'll get you out of here. It's been a while since I did one of these videos. I've been getting the normal, you know, um, the reservation packs, the all the packs that are, like, easy to get. Almost, dude, I don't know what happened, but it's so much easier to get packs now. Even these packs... I was able to get one, my boy was able to get one, my other friend was able to get one of this last throwdown pack. So, it seems to me like the demand is definitely dropping. Or, that score, the little score they use to make sure you get a pack, maybe that wasn't right. I don't know. But, I want to see how low LeBron's gone. Oh, 34? And this one's down to $45. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's really bad. I didn't know it was this bad. I was looking at this card like two weeks ago. This one. And it was expensive, dude. It was like $100, maybe a little more. Dang, man. Well, THT, that was up there huge while back. Oh, man. Oh, man. I bought my AD for like 20. Five. His lowest moment. It's now $9. Let's hope this. All right, man. So here's my thought. I think playoffs are going to revive the market. Playoffs are going to bring it back. They need to do a better job though. Top Shot, if you're listening, which I know you're not, but if you are, you guys are flooding the market with all these reservation packs, bro. And I think it's having an ob obverse reaction. I don't know if that's the right term, but you giving everyone packs is not making people more interested it, and it's not getting more collectors into the game. I think it's doing the opposite. I think people are seeing that these packs are easy to get. They're not that rare. And the FOMO, fear of missing out, is not there anymore. So people 
you know, everyone that wants a pack, if they can get a pack, that takes away the whole game and the, the thrill of it. The I don't know. I just think that they need to slow it down on these $9 packs. And if there are people that still want to get into Top Shot, you know, make sure to get them in. But they need to make the FOMO come back. Fear of missing out. Dude, the people in the queues are so low. It's been like... I remember when there was 400,000, 300,000. And now it's like one to 200,000. Probably in the one. One to 150. And that has me worried, but... I think I really do think the playoffs are gonna get a push. I was listening to a podcast today. Um, Team Hold, shout out to Team Hold. I watch y'all. Uh, good show, man. Anyways, um, they were saying that in the playoffs, Top Shot might do a little commercial in the games throughout the games. So that'd be cool. That'd be cool. But watch the players that do well in the playoffs. Their cards and moments should rise. And if they don't, then we have a serious problem. And if the playoffs don't bring up the market, we could be seeing a down market for a while. Um, other than that, I don't really have too much to add on with the market or packs. I don't know about any. See, here, perfect example. This drops May 14th in three days. And... You, uh, so many people got this pack, and they've been doing packs like these over and over and over. And I get it, easy money right there. You get the money even before you get the cards. So, well, no, I guess not. You don't. They don't make you pay until you actually pick up the cards. So, I don't know, man. And then the twentieth, we got wax coming back out. I'll probably try to get some of those. I missed out on the first set. I haven't been paying attention to the prices at all. So we'll see where that is. I definitely want to get some more moments. I'll probably buy in a little bit. Oh, we could check out my collection real quick. It's been a little longer video than I wanted it to be, but if I did the pack opening right at the beginning. I haven't done Top Shot in a while. So if y'all just want the pack opening, it's right there. I do like my serial number. That's dope. I am not selling. I'm going to hold this card for a while. I don't like the Clippers, but I'm not going to sell right away. I wish I would have sold some of my other moments right away, like the Bradley Beal I got from the uh, Seeing Stars, but I didn't. I have only sold one moment, and it was a Clipper. So, as you can see, we got a couple, you know, a couple good cards. Go Harris. Oh, whoops. There's my AD card we were talking about about that for 25 it's now at nine i got a Giannis. i want to get all the superstars eventually so i'm making my way got a few duplicates but i'm getting up there man i got what one two three four five six seven eight twelve sixteen twenty this card took a nose bomb too 20 24 Nicola, favorite MVP. Uh, 24. There's my other rare. So, like, dude, I guess I did pretty good. Seeing that this is 774, my other one's top 200, top 300. Not bad. I'm not complaining at all. Thank you, Top Shot. You bless me. And then we got the Zion. When, dude, when I pulled that, I was going crazy. That was one of my first cards I pulled. We got a nice Cole Anthony, Alec Burke. So, about 30 something moments. Not bad. I'm going to keep collecting. Keep going. Take out a Joel. I'll make a list of the superstars maybe next time. And I want to get them all. I want all of them in my collection. That way, when I'm older, I can look back at this point in time in the NBA and remember all these dope players, man. And Paul George is a superstar, so I might keep him. We'll see. But it's been your boy. I'll be having some 2K content coming out soon. If you did click on the video, expecting 2K Sorry, it's not. I do do these videos as well. And um, every so often. And yeah, it's been your boy Chronic. Hope you all have a good night. And I'm out. Peace.